lefty friends so today is the day for the gingerbread fever youtube hop 2023 our hostesses are betty scrap passion 01 and marquisha sweet papery treasures and i also wanted to let you know some of the other fabulous designers that are going to be in our lineup we have DM, who is Cutesy Shelf. We have Rosa, who is Rosa's Creative Way. We have Kim Perez as Crafty Kim. We have Robin as Crafty Heart RN. We have myself, Kimmy Murray, as Salty Beach Scrapper. And we also have Roxy as Hello, it's Maroxy, or Me Roxy. Um, we also have Patty at Patty, Mommy and Me Crafts. We have Melissa at Melissa Carol 655. No, 6555. Sorry. Let me do that again. Melissa Carroll at 6555. I'll have all these links down below. And then last but not least, we also have Tanya with Memory, Memory Lane Keepsakes. Okay, so um, just please go stop by on all their channels and go ahead and hit the like button and comment. And um, I don't know if everybody is doing a giveaway, but I do know that we do have some sponsors for this giveaway that Betty and Marquisha have lined up. And those are right here, my Creative Time online shop. We have Not Too Shabby. We have Pixie Dust Designs. We have Happy Crafter Shop and Scrap Divas Designs. So, guys, definitely um, please check back in on February 26, 2023. I believe that it's going to be Betty at Scrap Passion 01 who is going to be listing the winners. If not, it's going to be her co-host, Marquisha Sweet Papery Treasures. Okay, so if I find out before that date, I will definitely um, give that to you. But um, I'm pretty sure that it's probably going to be either Betty or Marquisha. Okay, so again, that's February 26, um, 2023. She didn't list a time. So possibly by 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Now, guys, don't forget on that same exact day, I'm going to be doing my giveaways. And remember, I am giving away two logos. If you do not want a logo and there's something else like you want, like a personalized address labels or um, some Happy Mail stickers or something like that, I can definitely try to create some for you. And um, I hope you like them. But anyway... Let me go ahead and get started with what I made. So all we had to do was create one gingerbread, but I did a couple. So my first one is going to be this um, little tag, and I'm just going to put a little hole up there with a little string. Right now I'm trying to store all my Christmas tags flat so that um, it's an easier way to store them. And then once, once it goes closer to the time, then I can start adding all the goodies on there. But anyway, I kind of left it blank, but I will add on a to and from, and I just thought this was really super cute. And this is my nerdy little gingerbread and I just love her. She's so cute. Okay. So next up we have a Valentine's and Valentine's is over, but I just want to share this with you. So I created this little font, Gingerbread Kisses. This is actually a little, um, I guess you would call it ice skating gingerbread guy. This was from DIY Art Bin. And the heart is actually from my, um, guys, why am I having a ring fart? Hold on. Let me get it for you. Hold on. Oh, duh. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> My Crafting World Designs, okay? So, um, with Anna. So, this is from the Gnome Gingerbread thing that I did. So, anyway, um, I went ahead and I used a Sizzix um, die right here. And it is kind of like your sweater look. And I just kind of did that on a, um, I don't know what you call it, like a silver... Kind of grayish silver i'd say metallic looking it almost looked like steel right but like a steel piece of cardstock um that i got from debbie and then i also used this paper kit um doo -doo -doo, sorry guys hold on i wasn't prepared the winter in the wood stack by die cuts with a view okay so i used that in there and i wish i could find the paper pad that i got the silver from but apparently I lost it but anyway and then again I created the gingerbread kisses and then I also created this my May or Valentine's Day be sweet and so I thought that was really super fun and so I will have that ready for next year I also have a, a super cute little gingerbread 
um, idea right here. And this is a little gingerbread rag doll. Um, the little enamel dots that I used on um, here, these little matte ones, and these are all from Islet Outlet and Brad's and more. Um, so definitely want to let you know about that. Now these little bumblebees, I believe that the bumblebees were a cut file from Cricut as well as the little um, beehive. All I did was cut one of these little layers off so that it would fit on the little gingerbread girl. And um, then I went ahead and popped up these little bumblebees with the little small um, foam dots from the Dollar Tree. And I also used kind of like a matte vellum, okay? And um, it's really stenciling vellum is what it is. But, um, and I also used the flowers, the tulip flowers again. These were from Cricut as well. So again, we have the tulips, the bees, and the little beehive. That's all from Cricut. This little die is from DIY Art Bin, and I think this rag doll is just the cutest. And so it was really fun to use. This paper collection is from Photo Play. And if I have it out, oh, yeah, I do. Good. Okay, sometimes I never know. Uh, Tula and Norbert Sweet as Honey, and I got this at uh, the expo that I went to last year. And I'm finally having a chance to dig in there some more and take advantage of it. But I thought it was super fun to create this little gingerbread bee um, because I want to let you know that gingerbread isn't just for Christmas. So we have a fun um, spring slash summer theme. We have Valentine's and then of course we have our little Christmas gingerbread nerd. And so I just thought this was a lot of fun to do. And on the inside, my sentiment says buzzing by to say hello to my beast friend. So anyway, um, uh, guys, I hope you all love everything. Please don't forget to check out all the channels down below. I will have them in the links down below or <laughs> the description box. What is with me today? I'll have it in the description box down below. And guys, please um, give everybody a shout out. And thank you so much, Betty and Markeisha, for um, asking me to join in on this. It was so much fun. I'm obsessed with gingerbread. So this was right up my alley. And again, thank you so much for inviting me. And I will be seeing you all soon with another project. And don't forget, I'll be announcing the winners. And so will Scrap Passion 01 or Markeisha on February 26th. So guys, good luck. Bye-bye, y'all.